In the Styles group on the Home tab, right-click the Heading 1 style. Word displays a shortcut menu related to styles. Click Modify on the shortcut menu. The Modify Styles dialog box opens. In the Formatting section, click the Font Size arrow. Word displays a list of font sizes. Click 18 to change the font size. In the Formatting section, click the Bold button. The new formatting options are set in the Modify Style dialog box. Click OK. Word updates the style to use the new formatting and applies the changes to any paragraphs using the modified style. Click in the first body paragraph. In the Paragraph group on the Home tab, click the Line and Paragraph Spacing button. Word displays a list of line spacing options. Click 2.0. The first body paragraph now uses the line spacing you selected. Click in the first body paragraph. In the Paragraph group on the Home tab, click the Line and Paragraph Spacing button. Word displays a list of Line and Paragraph Spacing options. Click Remove Space Before Paragraph. Word removes the space before the first body paragraph. In the Paragraph group, click the Line and Paragraph Spacing button again. Click Remove Space After Paragraph. Word removes the space after the first body paragraph. Select the first Heading 1 paragraph. In the Styles group on the Home tab, right-click the Heading 1 style. Word displays a shortcut menu related to styles. Click Update Heading 1 to match selection. Word updates the Heading 1 style and applies the modified style to the other Heading 1 paragraph in the document. Click in the Best Ice Cream on the Planet Heading paragraph. In the Paragraph group on the Home tab, click the Center button. Word centers the paragraph between the left and right margins. Click the View tab on the ribbon. In the Show group, click the Ruler checkbox to show the rulers. The horizontal ruler appears at the top of the document window below the ribbon, and the vertical ruler appears on the left side of the document window. Click the References tab on the ribbon. In the Citations and Bibliography group, click the Style arrow. In the Style Gallery, click MLA 7th Edition. Word changes the format of the works cited as appropriate for the MLA style. Move the insertion point before the period in the last sentence on page 1. Click the References tab on the ribbon. 
In the Citations and Bibliography group, click the Insert Citation button. Click Add New Source to open the Create Source dialog box. Click the Type of Source arrow. Select the type Article in a Periodical. The fields in the Create New Sources dialog box adjust to guide you through entering the correct source information for a periodical article. Enter Cho, comma, Peter in the Author text box. Enter Business Lending in the Title box. Enter Wall Street Journal in the periodical title box. Enter 2019 in the year text box. Enter May in the month box. Enter 2 in the day box. Enter 4 in the pages text box. Enter print in the medium box. Click the OK button. Word inserts a citation to the new source using the selected citation style. Move the insertion point before the period in the last sentence on page 3. Click the References tab on the ribbon. In the Citations and Bibliography group, click the Insert Citation button. A list appears containing sources available to the document. Click the Foley Andrew source. Word inserts a citation to the source using the selected citation style. Right-click the footnote text. Click Style on the shortcut menu. Word displays the Style dialog box. Click the Modify button. Word displays the Modify Style dialog box. In the formatting area, click the font size arrow and then click 12. The double space button. Click the format button. Click paragraph. Word displays the paragraph dialog box. Click the special arrow and then click first line. Click OK to close the paragraph dialog box. Click OK to close the Modify Style dialog box. Click Apply to close the Style dialog box and apply the style changes to the footnote text. The footnote text is formatted using 12-point text, double line spacing, and a first line indent. All new footnotes inserted in the document will also use the new formatting. Click the Goodman Citation. The citation appears in a content control with the Citation Options button on the right. Click the Citation Options arrow. Word displays the Citation Options menu. On the Citation Options menu, click Edit Source. The Edit Source dialog box opens. 
click the year text box and type 2019 in the text box. Click OK. Word updates the source and closes the dialog box. On the status bar, click the word count indicator. The word count dialog box opens. Click the include text boxes, footnotes and endnotes checkbox to select it. Word updates the statistics, including word count. Click in the second body paragraph. In the Styles group on the Home tab, click the More button. Word displays a gallery of styles. In the Styles gallery, click the Intense Quote Style. Word applies the set of formatting options in the Intense Quote Style to the paragraph, including italics, font color, top and bottom borders, paragraph spacing, and left and right indents. Click the References tab on the ribbon. In the Citations and Bibliography group, click the Bibliography button. In the Bibliography gallery, click Insert Bibliography. Word generates a list of the sources you referenced or used when writing the paper and inserts the bibliography at the insertion point. The bibliography is formatted in the selected documentation style, in this case MLA. Select the word Annual in the first body paragraph. In the clipboard group on the Home tab, click the Cut button. The selected text is removed from the document and stored on the office clipboard. Click to the left of the word franchising in the first sentence. The insertion point blinks in the new location. In the clipboard group, click the paste button. Word inserts the text from the office clipboard to the document at the location of the insertion point. Select the text Glacier Ice Creamery in the first body paragraph. In the clipboard group on the Home tab, click the Copy button. The selected text is stored on the office clipboard. Click the blank paragraph at the end of the document. The insertion point blinks in the new location. In the clipboard group, click the paste button. Word inserts the text from the office clipboard to the document at the location of the insertion point. In the editing group on the home tab, Click the Replace button. The Find and Replace dialog box opens. Type Web in the Find What text box. Click in the Replace With text box and type Online in the text box. Click the Replace All button. Word replaces all instances of web with online and displays a dialog box notifying you about the replacements. Click the OK button. The Notification dialog box closes. 
click the close button to close the find and replace dialog box. Click the review tab on the ribbon. In the proofing group, click the spelling and grammar button. In the document window, the word headquarters is selected and the spelling pane opens with the suggested spelling for the selected word. In the spelling pane, click change to accept the highlighted suggested change. The spelling change is made only to the selected occurrence in the document. The next unrecognized word, reshoe, is selected and the options in the spelling pane change. In the spelling pane, click Ignore All. Both occurrences of the word reshoe are ignored. The red wavy lines are removed and a dialog box indicates that the spelling and grammar check is complete. In the dialog box, click OK.